everyone, Jeff Bowders here with Drum Discipline Academy, and today we're gonna to begin with part one of our flam fill phrasing study. Yes, I love alliterations, if you could not already tell. So we're gonna go over a lot of information today with, with a lot of examples. And so I really wanna make sure that you download the free PDF, the link is at the bottom for you to be able to do this. That way you're gonna be able to follow this lesson much more easily, you're gonna understand it more thoroughly, and, and most importantly, you're, you're gonna be able to apply it to your plan much more effectively. That's a, that's a lot of adverbs right there. So anyways, let's, um, let's not waste any more time. Let's just get after it. Here we go. All right, before we get into the meat of the lesson here, let's really define exactly what type of flam we're gonna be using and really focusing on for the duration of this entire lesson series. So traditionally, a flam is a grace note or unaccented note followed by an accented note. But now once we start applying the flam to various voices of the instrument, especially if we're gonna separate the flam between two separate voices like a tom and a snare drum, it's advantageous to make both strokes of the flam equally dynamic, basically both accents. This way, that tom is gonna have a nice presence, it's gonna have some nice articulation. We're gonna hear it every single time. So basically the approach that we're taking with the flams is we're concerned more with the, the rhythmic relationship as opposed to the traditional dynamic relationship between the two notes of the flam. And this is the approach that we're gonna take throughout the duration of this entire lesson series. All right, so now that we know what we're doing, Let's start the lesson. All right, here we go. So the sticking that we're gonna use that's gonna be the common thread throughout this entire lesson series is a hybrid rudiment called a one-sided flam accent. And we're gonna use the left flam version of it. So all that is, is it starts with a left-handed flam and that's right left. And then after the flam, we have a right single and a left single. So we have flam, right, left, flam, right, left, flam, right, left. And then the orchestration we're gonna use most of the time is gonna be taking the right stroke of the flam and applying that to various toms while everything else is on the snare drum. So now we have. All right, so as you already can figure out, this is a three note phrase and we're gonna apply it to 16th notes. So when we apply it to 16th notes, it's gonna have this polyrhythmic feel to it. And really what it is, it's a four over three polyrhythm, also known as a dotted eighth note polyrhythm. But all it is, it, 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 it creates this really cool rhythmic tension in the feel or whatever groove or fill that we're trying to play. And we hear this in music all the time. I mean, it's, it's unavoidable. You, you can't hide from it. If you try to hide from it, it'll just say, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. <laughs> okay, so best we just embrace it, accept it, and utilize it to the best of our ability. All right, so let's explore to see how these concepts sound when we apply them to fills. This is going to be exercises 1A and 1B. All right, here we go. So those last two, we actually started the flam accent on beat one, but we can also start it on the E of beat one, which gives it a little bit more syncopation, but it actually resolves it a lot more naturally. And it sounds like this, this is one C. And now finally, since this is a three note phrase, it has three different starting positions. So the last one, we're gonna start it on the and of beat one. And it sounds like this.
Okay, now let's further explore some other voicing possibilities. This is a classic orchestration that Tony Williams would just crush all over the place. It's still a one-sided flam accent, but the, the right single that's right after the flam, we're gonna play a cymbal and we're gonna support it with the kick drum. So it sounds like this. This is 2A. Here we go. One. Now let's play the flam with the tom snare orchestration and play it also in those three different positions that we just went over. I'll play it at a, at a couple different tempos just so you can get a better idea of how this sounds overall. All right, here we go. This is going to be 2B through 2D. Yes, okay, so keeping with the Tony Williams theme, I have to show you the classic lick that everyone loves and everyone seems to have the right opinion about, but I, I think it originated with Tony. This is where it seems everyone gives him credit for it. Um, but it falls perfectly within our, within our three-note flam fill study here, and it's called the Bludgda. And it's called the Bludgda because that's what it sounds like when you play it. So basically all it is is we're taking that one-sided flam accent that we've been doing, but the right stroke that follows the flam, we're going to diddle that stroke. So what we have here is flam, right, right, left, flam, right, right, left. With a click, it's going to sound like this. But to make it more practical, we got to give it a little bit more grease. I, I know that's not the most academic term, but it's it's just too stiff right now. We gotta we gotta loosen it up. We gotta open it up a little bit. And the most effective way to do that is spreading out that diddle that's right after the flam. We're, we're gonna open it up a little bit more than than what it's notated, and it's gonna sound like this. Now the final step in developing our bludgda is just incorporating that tom within the flam. So we have that tom snare orchestration that we've been doing all along already. And then we wanna get comfortable playing it starting in the three different positions as well. Okay, so this is gonna be 3B through 3D. Here we go.
All right, so one final application I'm gonna leave you with today, and it's gonna be a left-handed orchestration. So far, the right hand's been getting all the action, moving around to the various toms, but now the left hand is gonna play this tom one, and we're gonna apply that to the last note of the flam accent. So we have the flam, right, left, that last left, that's gonna be on tom one. Sounds like this. With a click, it's gonna sound like this. And now we're gonna to apply to the various techniques that we've been working on today. The basic orchestration, the cymbal application, and of course the infamous blajda. And what I, I really want you to check out to see how this left hand orchestration really changes the whole character of each one of these techniques we've been, we've been working on. It's pretty awesome, it's pretty cool. I think you'll dig it. Let's get after it. Here we go. All right, troops, I told you, it's a lot of information with a lot of different exercises, a lot of different applications. That's why I wanna make sure you download that PDF. That way you'll be able to follow it better, but more importantly, you'll just be able to apply these techniques to your own plane just more efficiently. I, I hate wasting time. I'm sure you hate wasting time, so having a nice visual representation of that helps out quite a bit. All right, so that's it for this lesson. The next lesson, we're going to start getting into some five-note phrases. Using the techniques from this lesson as a foundation, we're going to explore some five-note fun. But until then, as always, stay focused and practice with purpose. All right, see you. Take care.